What's up everybody? Hope you had a chance to hit the courts since my last review. Today we're talking about 6-0's new line of paddles, the double black diamond infinity and the black diamond infinity. We will be breaking down both paddles and how they are similar and different from each other and to 6-0's other popular paddles. But before we get into it, let me tell you a little secret before I start. These paddles are legit. So let's run it up. <laughs> These paddles are different than the normal double black diamond and black diamond, first and foremost because they are edgeless. That is an obvious thing you can see from just looking at them, but they are just more than taking the edge guard off and claiming that they are a different paddle. Six Zero had to make a completely different mold for these paddles to make them a bit wider to compensate for the edge guard not being there. Both of these paddles are thermoformed and have your edge foam injected into the perimeter of the paddle. Off the bat, I could tell they both played softer than their counterparts and had noticeably more spin. The biggest gripe I had with both of these paddles are the twist weight. For the Black Diamond Infinity, it's 5.7, and for the Double Black Diamond Infinity, it's 5.8. Those twist weight numbers are far below the average paddle and immediately put lead tape on both paddles at the four and eight o'clock positions. 99% of my play testing, I had my typical lead tape set up with both paddles. And with that said, let's talk about how they performed. The Black Diamond Infinity. There are so many things I enjoyed about this paddle. One of the first things I noticed was how low the swing weight was. With it being 106, it felt extremely quick in the hand. Playing with paddles with low swing weights gives me a sense of confidence at the kitchen line because I know I'm going to be able to get a quick first counter off if the other team tries to speed up the ball at me. Which then in turn helps me play more patient as well because I'm not worried about the other team's offense as much. And I can focus on how I am trying to construct the point. And speaking of speed ups, this paddle's pop is pretty dang good. I'd say it has slightly less than the original double black diamond. When I hit the sweet spot with this paddle when in hands battles, it usually goes pretty well for me. When it doesn't go well for me is if I miss a sweet spot. The sweet spot on the black diamond is average. And when you combine that with a low twist weight, it can get bad. If I was caught off guard from a speed up or a drive and missed the center of the paddle, the ball would die right there on the paddle. But this isn't a new thing for edgeless paddles. That's why finding a good lead tape setup that you can enjoy is crucial when looking into edgeless paddles, including these two. But this paddle performs great in every other sense. My favorite thing about this paddle is how great the spin is. The RPMs come in at 2,265, which is at the tippy top of the spin ratings. There are very few paddles with better spin than this. Great spin makes every other shot so much easier. I can have much more margin on all my shots because I know that the ball will be dipping down hard into the court, which allows me to be even more aggressive. The feel off this paddle reminds me of a lot how the original double black diamond feels. That nice crisp response off the face, which is what it's known for. It has nice dwell time and leaves me with the same satisfying sensation when hitting the sweet spot as if playing with a double black diamond. With this good feeling sweet spot and fantastic spin, the control on this paddle is top tier. I could easily hit aggressive dipping third shot drops with this paddle from the forehand and backhand side. Same thing goes for dinks at the kitchen line. Hitting top spin dinks with this was so much fun and was a game within itself. How hard could I hit a top spin dink and have it stay in and low enough to where it couldn't be attacked? But my favorite shot with this paddle was the drive by far. I felt like I could hit any line that I wanted to. I found myself hitting multiple drives in a row during matches, which typically is a big no-no because it's pretty risky. But with this paddle, it was so easy to be consistent with it. I think part of that is because this paddle actually doesn't have crazy power. It's nothing special actually. But because of that and the crazy spin it gets, it allows me to take complete full swings at the ball and stays in the court. That fact alone allowed me to be very aggressive with my drive and serve. And I don't think I've ever hit out more on my serves than with this paddle. Here's a quick montage of some of those serves. As you can see, I'm swinging as hard as I can and they're staying in the court, at least most of the time. Nice, nice. 
I played singles with this paddle and played out of my mind. I'm so mad I wasn't recording it at that time, but overall, this is just a fantastic paddle. The Double Black Diamond Infinity. This paddle is very similar to the Black Diamond Infinity. It's basically the same paddle, but it just plays softer. I would consider the Black Diamond Infinity an all-core paddle on the softer end of the spectrum, but the Double Black Diamond Infinity is a full-blown control paddle. I felt like I could hit resets all day long with this thing. It definitely has a better sweet spot than the Black Diamond Infinity and is easier to control. Hitting dinks and drops with this just felt so natural. I hit a lot less drives with this paddle while playing because my drops were so consistent and dinking came so easy. This has a slightly higher swing weight than the Black Diamond Infinity, which I actually liked a lot. I think that alone made it much stabler than the Black Diamond Infinity. The spin with this paddle is still good at 2070 RPMs, but it was easy to notice the spin difference between this and the Black Diamond Infinity. Serves and drives still felt fantastic, but doesn't have the same punch as the Black Diamond. Overall, this is one of my favorite control paddles that I have ever used. These two paddles are some of my favorite edgeless paddles that I have ever used. Their only downfall is the twist weight, which causes a lot of the instability. Once you fix that with some lead tape, these paddles are so solid. But who would I recommend these paddles for? I would actually recommend the Black Diamond Infinity to tennis players learning the game of pickleball. For someone that has plenty of power and likes to bang drives, but also likes to play the soft game. The spin on this thing will keep drives in the court and the softness of the paddle will allow you to feel comfortable while playing defense and dinking in the kitchen. I'd recommend the Double Black Diamond Infinity to the player that likes to grind in the kitchen and win with consistency. There are a few paddles that I play with that have made it so easy to get to the kitchen line and outdink my opponents. But the big question is, could I play with these paddles in a tournament? Yes, I could. If I had to choose between these two paddles though, I would choose the Black Diamond Infinity because it suits my playstyle better. But if you like control paddles, you have to check out the DBD Infinity. If you'd like to pick one of these paddles up, make sure you use our code BRIONISPB when checking out to save big and most importantly, to help continue the channel to grow. None of this is possible without your support and we are so, so grateful for you. If you ever see me at a tournament or out in the wild, please come say hi. I would love to meet you. But that is it for this review and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.